Thank you for listening. I'm Kelly Weiss. Many people can relate to this story. More than one third of workers say they typically feel tense or stressed out at work because of a toxic co-worker or a toxic boss. So how do you deal with this? Jim Whitten is a communications expert. He joins us to talk about this. And Jim, okay, what's your advice? Getting to know the person on a, on a personal level uh, versus just a professional level. I think so many times we go into a work environment and we want to uh, show how well we can do. We start working hard and our coworkers uh, hopefully will notice and certainly our boss might notice. But taking the time just to get to know somebody on a personal level is very important. And when I say on a personal level, simple things like where are they from? Where's their hometown? Where did they go to college? Uh, how many children do they have? Are they, you know, do they have a family here? Uh, tell me some stories about you growing up. What, what did you want to do when you were growing up? These are all just things that really break down barriers and, and create a personal relationship. Now, you want to do that right off the bat when you meet somebody. But if it's too late for that, uh, step back, go to lunch, uh, have some coffee, uh, and ask them these questions. And people will love to answer these questions, and you will be amazed at how far that goes to break down some of the toxicity that you're referring to in the workplace. And let's say that it just continues in the in the coworker or the boss is the toxic person who's causing the stress. What do you do at that point? Uh, You've got to become great at the art of questions. What happens with questions is questions break down tension. So in other words, uh, if a boss comes to you and they're on edge and they're giving you a hard time about something or they're just impatient for no reason, this is all toxic, of course, uh, then you can simply say, uh, excuse me, may I ask a question? They'll, they'll usually say yes. And then tell me more about what you would like me to do, or what do you mean by that? These, this kind of opening question can take the tension down, can relax everyone. Uh, the person you've asked that question to has to stop and concentrate on what you're asking them in order to give you an answer. Uh, and so these are some of the kind of the chaff you can throw at the bombs that are being sh- uh, shot at, if you will, uh, that can calm it down. So building rapport, asking good questions, Uh, And sincere questions. Questions typically come across as sincere as opposed to reacting with a statement or some kind of defense when somebody is creating a toxic situation. So questions, questions, questions. So how do you know when it's time to go to HR? Well, there are some obvious things. I mean, you you typically would have an employee handbook, and if there's a uh, continual violation, I I certainly wouldn't go on the first time. I would try to to interact with them on a personal level like we've talked about and see if some of those things, you know, we all have bad days. Usually what happens when people lash out at work is there's something else going on. Maybe their supervisor is kind of writing them a little bit or maybe there's a, you know, you had an argument with somebody in your family at home over the weekend or you're not feeling well, uh, didn't get enough sleep last night. There's so many reasons why people can be short and come across as toxic uh, and so by, you know, asking those questions, building rapport, you can maybe come to what that one thing is that is bothering them. But if it continues, uh, you have every right in uh, our free country to go to, uh, to HR and say, look, here's what's happening. Uh, I'm not here to report or turn in anyone. I just want to work well with my team. Uh, and it certainly could be me. And if it's me, I want to do better. How can you help me? Jim Witten, a communications expert, we really appreciate your time. I also tried just uh, holding my breath and counting to 10 really slowly.